In today's video, I'm going to be giving you the latest news on how the China versus US trade war is going to affect your dropshipping business. Now, I've been highly requested to do this video from my subscribers and from my Facebook group. And the links to my Facebook group will be in the description below. So I'm going to bring it to you guys now. And exactly, I'm going to be talking about how it's going to affect your dropshipping business and what you can do to stop it from overly, uh, overly changing your dropshipping business. Now, the short answer to this question, will it affect my business? It actually really won't affect your business that much. There's a small group of people that will see a small change, but for the majority, you really won't see a massive difference. But it is very, very important that you watch this video till the end because I'm going to be going into the whole trade war and how it is exactly going to affect certain people's businesses. And you might be one of those that might get slightly affected. So please watch this video till the end. You need to stay on top of this news. You need to understand why it's going to make a difference because if you don't and you're not prepared for it, you're going to take a hit and you're going to lose a lot of money. So please watch this video till the end. Please smash the like button because I took a lot of time out to research this, understand it, so I can bring it to you guys as well now if you want to be entered to win the next winning product list so i'm going to give people another list of 70 winning products all you need to do is comment the econ king 10k subs and you'll be entered into the giveaway now we're going to dive straight into how this trade war is going to affect your business so let's start off talking about what is an actual trade war. So for those that don't understand what a trade war is, you need to understand what it is because at the end of the day, trade wars are things that happen in business. It's normal. Don't worry about it. Now, as you're an online business and you're going from and you're getting uh, supplies from different countries, it's important that you understand trade wars in case this happens again in the future. So what is a trade war? A trade war is when, for example, the USA, because the USA are the ones that did this, increases the tariffs on import taxes on products imported from China. So the US has said to China, look, we're going to put a price on what you're putting into the country to discourage people from importing them in the first place. So what this does is it slows down their their economy basically in terms of importing goods um, and I'm going to get onto this a little bit later on the reason why US did this so in relation to this obviously China is not going to be okay with it so they've done exactly the same to the US and said look we're going to do the same to you now um, and they go back and forth till they go on mutual grounds so that's exactly what a trade war is guys um, and the reason why the trade war started is because Donald Trump the president of the USA has started this all by saying to China look we're fed up of you guys taking all our money. Um, the US has lost a lot of money, a lot of jobs from this. So we want to bring America back to where it was again. Also, um, Ch um, Trump is also worried that China is going to rival the economy because the number one economy in the world is the USA and second is China and they are closing the gap between the US and themselves. So Trump is a little bit worried about that. So he's trying to slow China down, which is by him doing certain things like this. Uh, and the reason why he's doing this is because he wants more jobs for the USA. And again, he wants the economy to be as strong as it can be and the strongest of them all, which it currently is. But if he doesn't slow China down, they're going to start to take over, which he doesn't want. And he's complained about, about this before, about China taking all the money away from them. And that's the reason why he's doing this. So now let me talk a little bit about the following topics I'm going to go over. So we're going to go over tar tariff thresholds, product pricing and shipping costs. So basically how this trade war is going to affect those three things, which is tariff thresholds, product pricing and shipping costs. Normally, packages priced lower than $200 are exempt from this duty. So basically, anything that you're selling that's under $200 are exempt from these tariff problems in the trade war, basically, because the US don't want to compete with China on low ticket items. So basically, what the US is saying is products that are priced under this 200 threshold of dollars, we're not going to do anything with them. We're going to keep them as normal products. We're not going to add anything to them. We're going to keep them going as normal. Now, again, what I was going back at the start of the video, this isn't going to affect as many people because the majority of drop shippers are not selling products over $200. The majority of people are selling products way under $100. So the majority are going to be completely fine. Now, the US doesn't want to compete with China on low ticket items. It's simply because they just can't compete with them. And they know there's no money in low ticket items. So they're not worrying about the low ticket items on the trade war. At the end of the day, the majority of the drop shippers, like I said, are selling products way under $200. So you will not be affected. So like I said, if you're one of those that are selling products under the $200, you will not be affected. You will not see any differences really. With these new tariffs, the product price, including the shipping fee, are so much cheaper than the U than using a US supplier. So what I'm trying to say here is even if you are having problems with tariffs and some products that you're getting are have got slightly slightly adjusted tariffs, then it's still going to be a lot cheaper than going to a US supplier anyway. So even though these tariffs are in place, and let's say one of your suppliers does get hit with a tariff, 
it's still going to be cheaper than using a US supplier. So at the end of the day, China is still a lot cheaper than the US is what I'm trying to say here. The cost of e-packet shipment from China to the US residential customer is dramatically cheaper than the US local shipping options for the same package. So what I'm trying to say here is, so to ship from the US to a customer in the US, it's a lot more expensive than shipping from e-packet to the US. So basically what I'm trying to say again is, it doesn't matter, China is still going to be a lot cheaper than using a US supplier. Even if you're selling goods over the $200 mark, you just need to add the extra cost to your product so the consumer pays the tariff duty. So what I'm trying to say here is if you are in that small group of people that are selling products over the $200 threshold, which are the ones that are going to get hit with the tariffs, then all you need to do to prepare for this change is add the tariff duty pricing into your product cost. Now, you're probably thinking, Camille, if you do that, then I'm not going to get any sales. Now, let me go on to the next point because it's going to make you think twice about what you're thinking already. So 90 percent of the businesses will be doing this including apple so what i'm trying to say is if you are selling products over 200 dollars don't worry if you're going to be increasing prices because of the uh, because of the trade war duties don't worry because the majority of businesses anyway will be doing the same thing now apple is one of them now donald trump's had back and forth um, arguments with tim cook about tariffs and duties and whatnot and he said look apple you're still going to receive the same duties as everybody else now what do you think apple's going to do do you really think Apple is going to take the loss themselves or do you think they're going to import the duty costs into their product pricing exactly? They're going to do exactly the same as what everybody else will be doing. While well, let's say the majority of people will be doing is increasing the tariff duties into their product pricing. They're not going to take the loss themselves. They're going to make the consumer take the loss. So what I'm trying to say here is so consumers will become used to the extra cost that will become mandatory. So basically consumers will notice a slight increase on product pricing, especially over the products that are over $200, but they will get used to this because they'll also know there's been a trade war, which means product pricing is going to increase. And again, 90% of the businesses will be doing the same thing, increasing their product pricing because of the tariffs. So every consumer will get used to the increasing prices. So because you're increasing prices doesn't mean people are like, oh my God, they're charging a fortune now. I don't want to shop with them. People will become used to it. People will know, okay, something's happened. We know that they're going to be charging a little bit more now. So don't worry about consumers and your conversion rates decreasing because consumers don't want to pay the extra money. Consumers will have to do it. So don't worry. They will become a second nature to them. So the conclusion of today's video, which is, will the China war, uh, sorry, the China versus US trade war affect my dropshipping business? The simple answer to this is, if you're selling products under $200, you won't notice a difference at all, really. So basically, the majority of dropshippers out there that are doing like things like fidget spinners, back postures, you will not notice this difference in the product pricing and the tariffs and whatnot. But if you're selling products over $200, you will have to adjust your prices and notice a small drop in conversion. So as I was saying before, you're not going to really see a difference in conversions in terms of website uh, buyers and whatnot. But to start with, you will see for the first few, few months a slight decrease in your conversions. But as soon as people get, uh, get mandatory with this change across the board, your conversions will go completely back to normal. So again, the conclusion to this question is... No, it's not going to affect 90% of the people that are doing dropshipping, but the 10%, you'll see a small difference for the first few months. Now, I hope I've answered your questions and I hope I've made this very clear. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below and don't forget to enter the giveaway and make sure you like this video if you've taken any value and I'll see you guys on the next one.